Welcome back to Garage Matters and Happy New Year's. You know, I was just standing here looking at this engine, seeing what else needs to be done before we can separate the head off the block. But have you guys ever started a project and just felt like, I just don't want to do it today? Well, that's exactly how I feel with this project car. But we're almost there with the new year rolling in. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, this engine mount has got to get removed. Alternator looks like it's got to get removed. The serpentine belt has got to get removed. And then whatever pulleys down there or brackets down there that needs to be removed, we'll go ahead and knock it all out and then probably just call it a day after that. We'll go ahead and get this belt off. In order to get this belt off, <clears throat> You gotta use a 19 millimeter socket on this tensioner right here. We're gonna put this socket on here. So if, if you're facing the engine, you wanna pull towards you. And then just kind of slip the belt off while you're holding it down. Right, let's get this alternator off. <clears throat> it's gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt holding the top bracket in. Stick this wrench on here. Try to break the torque. Okay. The sound of torque breaking. That's the top one. For the second bolt holding this alternator, there's a 12 millimeter bolt right underneath this pulley. Can't get the camera under there, but once you feel it, you'll be able to see where it's at. So it's gonna be a 12 millimeter. There. Break this torque. Okay. There it is. Once he's unbolted, he's kind of wiggle it off the bracket. Now comes the alternator. Next thing we got to do is take this engine mount off. So before I do that, I think what I'm going to do is uh, take an extra jack that I have and just support the engine from the bottom. I'll probably put a block of wood in between the jack and the oil pan down there. Kind of help support this motor. It'll help make taking off these bolts easier and it'll help keep the motor from dropping down. Next thing we're going to do is support this motor. Got the jack underneath the car. Uh, put this block of wood on top of this jack right here. So when we jack it up, we don't mess up the oil pan. Should be good. With the way the engine supported by the jack down there, this engine mount should be able to come off a little easier. Will be two 14 millimeters. I'm gonna use this long extension bar to break this torque. I'm gonna get this one. Same thing, 14 millimeter.
This bracket looks like it's gotta come off too, so we'll go ahead and take this bracket off as well. Yeah, this bracket's gotta come off. Looks like three more down here. Three more bolts down here. That's gotta come off as well. What I'm doing is breaking the torque and then using the drill. What I'm doing right now is just looking down into this whole area right here. Gotta figure out what's holding this timing cover on. So I'm gonna remove everything that's attached to it. It kinda looks like this belt tensioner has gotta come off because it's bolted right through there. It looks like this power steering pump's gotta come off as well. And then we're just gonna slowly go one at a time and figure out what's attached to the timing cover. With the vehicle on jacks, uh, I'm gonna take this wheel off. Uh, the reason I'm taking this wheel off is uh, on the lower half of this timing cover. It's gonna make it easier to access those bolts from the wheel well. So I'm gonna take this wheel off. I'm gonna take this little covering piece off, hold it in by two 10 millimeter bolts here and here. Take them off. Down here, we're gonna have to remove this motor mount right here because there's a bracket right here that attaches onto the timing cover. So we'll go ahead and take off this motor mount. Okay. There's two more Nuts you gotta take out to get this motor mount out. Let's go ahead and take those out. These other ones over here. Like there's 
one more right here. This one's a 17 as well. We gotta get this piece out somehow. Kinda of wants to come out. Alright, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna jack the engine up. Hopefully when we jack this engine up, this will come right off and we can pull this right out. So I'm gonna slowly jack up the engine. Okay, yeah. Looks like I might do it all right. Okay, let's a little bit more. Okay. It's gonna come out. With that motor mount removed, we gotta take out this bracket to get to this timing bolt cover bolt back behind the bracket. So it's gonna be these three bolts right here. One, two, three. All 14 millimeter. Let's go. Take them on out. timing cover. Looks like she got three bolts down here. One, two, three. But we're gonna wait before we loosen those. We're gonna get the rest of these bolts out first. Looks like this gotta come off. This little thing's gotta come off and then up here I'm gonna lower the engine again so we can access the bolts to the power steering pulley. Before we lower this engine it's probably a good idea to go ahead and take off this serpentine belt tensioner right here. Since we have access to the lower bolt, we're going to undo this lower bolt first. There's a normal bolt up top. We'll get the one up top. Here's that other bolt from the top side. We'll try to take it out to see if she'll come out. Alright, with this engine jacked up a little bit more, we should have enough clearance to take this bolt out now. Well, it's not gonna well, come out completely, but just kind of wiggle it like that. I'm gonna go underneath the car real quick to pop the bottom side out, and then we should be able to pull it out from the top. Well, I thought it was gonna come out from the top, but this tension there pulley came crashing down.
Now we gotta remove the power steering pump. Gotta unbolt it so we can slide it out of the way. So we can get this tunnel cover off. There's uh, two bolts holding in. One right here. And then there's another one up here. I'm just not gonna have the camera angle for it. So there's two of them. One here. One here. Both. 14 millimeter. Let's see if we can get him out. Had to jack the engine back up <coughs> to get the the top mountain bolt of this power steering bracket loose. Yeah, I jacked back up. Now let's get this uh, power steering motor out the way. Shit, it's right now. With the power steering pump removed now, the only thing we gotta do down on the lower side is uh, remove the crank shaft pulley. Let's see what else needs to be done up on top. Well, up here looks pretty good. But we're almost there. That's gonna do it for this week. Didn't feel like doing it, but we got it done. Join us next week as we take off this timing chain cover. And remember, like and subscribe.